Welcome back everybody. This is David Spider Monkey 2A and we're back out at the range on a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in April. And we got a new handgun for the channel that I'm really excited to show you. Stick around, should be a lot of fun. All right guys, so I haven't dipped much into the 22 handgun world, but I'm very excited about this one. I've seen so many good things about this handgun for a company that gets such a bad rap for all its quality control, all that. But I mean, honestly, in the last couple years, they've really stepped up their game. Today, guys, I'm bringing out the Taurus TX-22. This I've heard nothing but good things about. But what gets me, guys, is that in the 22 handgun world, you get most of them with 10 round capacity magazines. This one came with 16 round capacity because as you stack them up with the rim on the 22 uh, casing, it kind of gets them to tilt a little bit. So after 10 rounds, companies have been having issues getting them to load reliably and be able to function. Taurus, low man on the totem pole, like I said, came out with 16. They basically said, huh, watch this, we can do it. And they did. I've had nothing but good luck with this so far. I did get this out to the range yesterday. My brother and I were playing around with it and we had almost zero hiccups. A few um, with some cheapy ammo kind of had a little bit of a problem feeding up, but nothing really stuck out. I had some cheapy blazer ammo that I did have one stove pipe, but other than that, we probably put 200 rounds to this thing and really nothing. But if you can see that there on camera, well, it's kind of hard to. But the rounds kind of stagger a little bit down, so they're not directly on top of each other. And it comes with this little follower. Most of the 22 handguns do. So that way you're not having to press down on that tiny little round. You can just use it. I like to use it as just enough to get it started and then actually use the little bit of pressure to load in. Because a lot of handguns, 22 handguns I have seen, People are like, oh, well, you got to do it a certain way. You got to do it a certain way. Otherwise, it won't fire. You shouldn't have to do that. This Taurus, guys, you can do whatever, and it's just going to eat all up the ammo. A few quick specs. We're not going to yak your ear off, guys. There's really not a ton to this handgun. Safety check, no mag in, nothing in the chamber. This one has a 4-inch barrel, so it does feel like a full-size handgun. And that's good for training purposes for somebody who's recoil sensitive or somebody who's just getting into the handgun world and they're just not quite sure of that pop. A 22 handgun is just an awesome choice to have for that then. We have a very good mag release here. I'll go ahead and just show you that. Drops right out, that's very nice. Does have a manual safety, they do come without. I think manual safeties are a good idea if you are doing those training purposes to have that there or if younger shooters want to try this out. Got a good three dot sight system, you know, nothing too crazy. And a polymer striker fire. I mean, aluminum slide, it's got good aggressive slide serrations. You know, it's just a 22. What I really like about these TX-22s, guys, is that normally you do have this big opening here on top for where the round ejects out. This, you just have it on the side, so it does really shoot it out the side there, out and away, instead of straight up and down. A lot of stove pipes happen because of that straight up and down. Other than that, guys, it does have good aggressive texturing on the handguard. What I really like about these TX-22s, guys, is the trigger. It really surprised me. Okay, safety check again. So, I mean, normally you have that blade style trigger. This one has a little bit of take up, good audible, and then the reset is it actually seems like it assists your finger out. It actually pushes out a little bit. Very audible tactical reset there, guys. That is very, very nice. Okay, like I said, 16 round mags. We're just gonna shoot some cheap ammo. We got this Winchester Super X, you know, 40 grain. PowerPoint stuff, basically, to, it's real cheap, okay? And then we got some of the CCI Velocitor, that's uh, 40 grain, small grain, small game, sorry, stuff. We're gonna shoot some of that out of there too. That should work, no problem. Like I said, we did have just a couple of hiccups yesterday. I think probably operator error on my part, but we're gonna shoot some steel, just have some fun with it. Let's get after it. All right, guys, I think I have a full mag loaded up with this uh, Super X PowerPoint. Then I think 10 of the CCIs. We're just gonna shoot some steel. I actually don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear this on camera. I mean, <laughs> with it being 22, obviously it's not hitting very hard, but 
Won't know till we try. I didn't actually get out to shoot some steel. So, I don't know. Should be fun. Uh, but yeah, we'll show you a couple more features as we go as well. Okay, so it's kind of hard. You don't quite feel the slide when it picks up that first round, you know, like a nine mil or a 45. Let's, uh, hopefully you can see me there. <laughs> Function flying. Lock back last round. <laughs> All right, guys, 22 is just so much fun to shoot. You know, just little to no recoil whatsoever. Uh, see if I can do this one a little bit more one-handed. I know a lot of 22s um, that I'm seeing handguns, they don't like when you use a slide release, slide lock, slide release. It doesn't give enough momentum to pick up that first round. Guys, this Taurus is just eating up everything. Finally hit that left target. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Another thing too guys I wanted to show you and it's a big perk on Taurus's part is this does come ready to be suppressed. It does have a threaded barrel. It does have a cap on the end but it also comes with an adapter that you can screw on and then you can make it so that you can have a suppressor on it. That is a big selling point in my opinion. I don't run suppressed but my brother does so maybe uh, I think he is actually picking up one of these. Well, maybe we'll get him out here and have him show us his suppress and see what the difference is. But it's just a great option. I am seeing a lot of other handguns do that as well. I think the SIG P322 that just came out is also doing the same thing. But it's nice to have that adapter so that way you don't have to break it down every single time if you don't want to run it suppressed, if you don't want that thread on there or that big open uh, thread protector that you have to take off before you break down the handgun. It's nice to just have it this way. All right. Let's uh, show you some different angles and show you some recoil. I mean, that's one of the perks of 22, guys. There's so many perks, actually. Cheap to shoot. I mean, even in this ammo crisis, you can still find 22 fairly, fairly cheap. But it's just fun to train with. I mean, I don't recommend doing nothing but training with uh, 22. Is it an option for self-defense? Absolutely. If you pop a somebody, an attacker or something, 16 rounds with 22 they're gonna stop what they were doing i guarantee it but it's good to have as a training tool but you still want to train with what you would be carrying with all right so let's just show you a little bit of the recoil which there is none because it's 22. <laughs> so like i said just a good training tool and then even one-handed there's just no recoil <laughs> Not bad at all, guys. I It's just a joy to shoot. All right, I've got TX-22. <laughs> Not bad at all. What an absolute joy. <laughs> all right, guys, there you have it. Just an absolute pleasure to shoot this little handgun. Taurus TX-22. What are your guys' thoughts on it? Do you have one? Do you want to get one? I think it's a great option. And it's very, very budget friendly. For a 22, it's right about that $300 level. You can get it some places a little bit cheaper, a little bit more. They have options for it. They have a competition model. 16 rounds, and you come with two mags, uh, ready to be suppressed. Frankly, guys, it's just a good option from Taurus. Low man on the totem pole, and I think they're ahead of the game on this one. All right, everybody, this is Dave of Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by.